We are 2,000 feet above the ground in the Adventure Time hot air balloon with our pilot, Wayne Fortney. And we are so excited. You know, there are some things that we have always wanted to do. This is one of those things. And today, on this beautiful, picturesque day, we're getting it done. This morning, is we, we, we do a lot of pre-weather, uh, pre-flight checks on, on weather, wind direction, what's going to happen during the flight. That, that helps us determine where we're going to launch from. This morning, we had two different options. We decided on the second option um, just for more of a variety of places to, to land. Um, once we chosen our launch site, we pull everything out, we stretch the balloon out, we hook it up to the basket, we fill it full of cold air, we add that, add heat to that cold air on the inside, and that ambient uh, temperature, the, the heat on the inside gives it lift, and here we go. Wow. and what a beautiful place to be. Tell us a little bit about... I'm glad I didn't wear hairspray. That's why I didn't do hairspray on the hair today, Wayne, just Thank for you. Goodness. Yeah. <laughs> But beautiful location right up above a golf course. And I would imagine, I mean, there's not that much of a sense of motion here. So people that might get seasick or air sick in a, in a plane might not have that experience here. Is that correct? No, I hear people say that they get motion sickness. Uh, I hear them say that they're afraid of heights every year. And we have several people that would have trouble getting on top of a table and have issues with that and never have problems inside the basket. As you can feel, you can see, you feel very safe, very mm -hmm. stable. Uh, if you close your eyes, you wouldn't realize that you weren't in, standing in your own living room. Probably not the cheapest hobby in the world. It's not. It's not. We uh, what we charge, we pretty much will break even, and occasionally we get a little extra to take the crew out for breakfast mm -hmm. or buy a little extra champagne, maybe. But uh, <laughs> you know, taking them to rallies is always fun when we get to. But uh, yeah, it's it, we don't live in a in a high tourist area compared to say Napa Valley, where they fly all the time. I mean, those people can make a living. Uh, right now, we just enjoy sharing the sport because we we love the romance of it all, and we we absolutely love the relationships we've made. Is there a typical couple that? Uh that flies with you that comes and says hey I want to do this no I'll tell you we've had everything from you know birthday pre uh, birthday presents to anniversaries to I'll tell you after the movie the bucket list came out I heard the, the term the bucket list more than I ever did in the past uh, we actually had uh, some I think our we had a, a 97 year old youngster on board one time last uh, year before last and it was phenomenal he was wonderful absolutely precious I will say this I have one of the, I have the absolute best crew in the world they're they're fantastic they get up at sunrise or before sunrise to come out like they did for you all this morning and uh, they don't complain at all I mean the only thing that uh, they ask is that I make sure that the champagne's cold at the end yeah. of the flight so that's what we asked too imagine that everybody's <laughs> thinking how do I get my ride on this uh, adventure and it was so easy to check out a website that's right Tell them your website there, man. <laughs> Don't let me screw it up. AdventureTimeBallooning.com. Or you can always visit Rainbow Zen Floral Shop. See, and you two can go up, up, and away. We've had so such easy. a great time. It was so easy. They did all the work. Yeah. <laughs> a big thank you to everyone. Happy travels. Well, it was an honor to have all of you. It was an honor to have the film crew and all of the crew here. And it was a special honor to have you both with us. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Salute.